Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Catching up on all things Sussex. The Duke, patron of England rugby, has recorded a special video to mark its 150th season. Fun fact. During his gap year, in 2004, Harry trained as an assistant development officer with England rugby. After getting qualified, Harry went out to schools and clubs around the country assisting community rugby coaches to teach the game to young people. Rugby Union has brought joy to millions of people with teams full of great characters and special players. In these isolated times, the sheer passion and enjoyment that sport offers can bring great comfort to many. As proud patron of the Rugby Football Union, I join millions of supporters across the entire world in celebrating 150 years of England rugby. Another analysis. Prince Harry reveals when he and Meghan may return to social media. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been busy in the year since they broke away from the royal family to forge their own path. While we've had some info on what they've been up to since then, the couple hasn't been personally updating their fans since March, which is when they announced they would no longer be using their Sussex Royal Instagram account. They don't appear to have set up any public social media accounts since then. But Prince Harry recently said that doesn't mean they won't be back someday. The royal told Fast Company, We will revisit social media when it feels right for us, perhaps when we see more meaningful commitments to change or reform. But right now we've thrown much of our energy into learning about this space and how we can help. This contradicts previous claims that the couple was completely done with social media, with a source telling LMT Channel that they left because of the hate that had been directed towards them on such platforms. Prince Harry is committed to holding social media platforms accountable. The belief that Prince Harry and Meghan would never return to social media wasn't entirely unfounded. In a piece for Fast Company last year, Prince Harry spoke about the drawbacks of social media. He said, From conversations with experts in this space, my wife and I believe we have to remodel the architecture of our online community in a way defined more by compassion than hate, by truth instead of misinformation, by equity and inclusiveness instead of injustice and fearmongering, by free rather than weaponized speech. The royal remains committed to changing this, saying in his interview with Fast Company that he believes the avalanche of misinformation we are all inundated with is bending reality, and has created this distorted filter that affects our ability to think clearly or even understand the world around us. He added that, in spite of the many pitfalls of social media, when its power is channeled properly it can be a force for good. He said, 
The truth is, social media can offer a means of connecting and community, which are vital to us as human beings. We need to hear each other's stories and be able to share our own. That's part of the beauty of life. And so on to other news and... The real reason behind Prince Harry's heartbreak. It looks like Prince Harry's family woes are a royal pain. Journalist Tom Bradby, friend to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, is speaking out about the couple's Megxit move to California. In an interview on ITV's Love Your Weekend with Alan Titchmarsh, Bradby says he believes the Sussexes are content with their lives in the Golden State. However, Prince Harry's still feeling emotional. The author said, on the January 17, 2021, I think they are feeling better, yes, so are they unhappy? No, I think they are content, the things they are doing they are quite excited by. I think Prince Harry is heartbroken by the situation with his family, you don't necessarily need to have knowledge to know that, but I think it is true. Bradby toured Southern Africa with the couple shortly before they made their exit from royal life, as seen in the 2019 documentary Harry and Meghan, An African Journey. Bradby shared subtle details about Prince Harry and Prince William's relationship after the royal split. He continued. He says, adding, The situation with the family clearly isn't ideal, and it has been a very difficult year for them all. But are they unhappy out there? No, I don't think that's right. I think they are pretty happy actually, but I think they wrestle with their position in life. I think they all do. I think William does too. I don't think he finds it easy. Tom Bradby says the royal split is painful for the royal family. In January 2020, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made headlines for announcing their trailblazing decision to step down from their positions as senior members of the royal family. Since moving to California for personal and financial freedom, Harry and Meghan have found great success. In September 2020, the couple signed a multi-year deal with Netflix. Additionally, the couple released their first podcast under a Spotify deal in December 2020. Despite the Sussexes signing lucrative deals, all that glitters with the royals isn't gold. According to Tom Bradby, the rift within the royal family amid news of the split has been painful for everyone. Bradby told Alan Titchmarsh, It is painful all round, painful for everyone, difficult to manage. Effectively, they have just decided to completely leave the royal family that has never been done. It's never been done voluntarily before and no one still is absolutely clear how it is going to work. There are still a lot of hurt feelings on all sides and it's very difficult. While the royal family still has some healing to do, Princes William and Harry are working on mending their relationship. We hope that things work out. Another report. The truth about Meghan Markle and Kim Kardashian's relationship. Meghan Markle's investment in Clever Blends just got another celebrity supporter. Reality star Kim Kardashian promoted Clever Blends, a vegan coffee brand that sells instant oat milk lats. The Duchess of Sussex became a private investor in the sustainable brand, and the environmental advocate's friends are helping raise awareness for the coffee brand. Kardashian posted an Instagram story on December 21, 2020, spreading the word about a basket she received with Clever Blends products. It is lovely of Kardashian to help the Duchess out, but how do they know each other? The Queen of the Kardashian family and the Duchess of Sussex are connected through Chrissy Teigen. Both Tigan and Meghan were suitcase girls on the game show Deal or No Deal together. The two then reunited, in 2014, to compete as part of Direct's Beach Bowl. As any Keeping Up with the Kardashian fan knows, Tigan and husband John Legend are friends with Kardashian and her husband, Kanye West, making them closely connected, if not friends. Kardashian joins former talk show host Oprah Winfrey in an effort to help Meghan promote clever blends. Meghan Markle and Kim Kardashian share the same passion. Kim Kardashian and Meghan Markle share a passion for social justice, which may be why Kardashian wants to help promote Meghan's investment and why the two women could become good friends over time. Clever Blends is a woman-lead, mission-driven company. We provide ongoing support to organizations fighting for the well-being of our community. Meghan's outlined her decision to support Clever Blends and leader Hannah Mendoza. Kardashian, on the other hand, has become a powerful advocate for prison reform. The reality star went to President Donald Trump to talk about needed changes in the U.S. prison system. Kardashian's efforts helped to release 20 wrongfully imprisoned people over three months. As for Yuz, 
We will keep watching clever blends and a possible growing friendship between Kadashane and Megan. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Stop.